Hey everyone, here with HB, and this is a different sort of list by the big boy. This has got a whole bunch of assets. This has got advanced assembly lines, team sponsorship, clone suffrage, and the goal was to kind of just generate value. Installing things, rush out, and then late game, you got three biotics and a sand sand to try to close the game. So let's install, 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 and then we'll use our assembly lines cover HQ. So we've seen this assembly line thing with team's ownership work pretty well in NEH in the past. You know, you you, it gives you something, something to target if nothing else is that is that exciting. And any HQ you get an extra card draw, which is definitely better than the extra credit, but getting the credits is pretty good too, since you can trigger the HP ability on the runner turn. So he's going to check these stuff out. Uh, makes sense. We're just going to sack everything to, to waste his clicks. And we can Jackson draw for our next turn pretty happily. This is probably a good matchup for us. Uh, the bad one is like wizard, clearly, because we have so many assets, he could just trash them all very cheaply. I don't think we're favorable against wizard unless he has a yog. Net ready eyes is his plan for a lotus field. Because we're playing two lotus and we're playing a bunch of cheap gear checks. So you can certainly rush two to four points against wizard and then biotic if out the rest of the way. See employee strike. Well, that's fairly rough. So I actually need that money pretty bad. But we should be able to score pretty soon. I'll happily biotic out a beta test, especially if my Jackson is out here on the board. We have Team Spotter to bring back our assembly lines. Oh, that's tough, huh? See, if we do install our suffrage or assembly lines, we won't be able to get anything of value out of them. He'll just re he'll just retrash the clone suffrage. And I kind of want to save the teams or the body layer for later because right now we can probably rush. So let's set up turn. Hmm. Play both ice to server five and just try to. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to get a feel for how many ice they're leaving the top three cards because we can fire a safe beta test with the biotic, but we also have 13 ice, so it's probably not going to even land. And we see contract coming down. Yep. Okay, well, we got lots of botics now, so let, let us clear this employee strike. Because we're losing too much revenue off of it. This deck really counts on having the revenue, so. Let's fire the beta test. What do we got? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> well, that's tragic. I mean, we could install... Well, these agendas to our server five. Yeah, whatever. We'll just play assembly lines in your remote. And now we risk him playing Ramil for four agenda points. He's gonna run our cards anyway, so we'll just shuffle now and be safe. Rebuy our biotic. That's one of the cards we're gonna want. So he can only install non agenda cards. This won't do much right now. He can just trash it. We got our money though, so I'm okay with this. So now we've got a higher density left in the remaining cards. If we top deck an ice, I'll just put beta test, ice, credit. We 
We also could try to shove the food out before he has any breakers. That's pretty dicey, to be honest. Uh, he could have, like, spike crowbar and just blast us. Excuse me. Not what I'm looking for right now. Hopper's good, draw four. Get a buck. Let's see if he finds his breaker now. He has to guess, right? So he might not guess properly. All right, well, we're going to fire this one too because we have the team sponsor to cover us by reinstalling if necessary. Yeah, there's a good one. So let's protect. Oh, hang on. How did I make a team fire? My prompts are all messed up. Okay, we'll get our ice. So we want is server five. Yeah, okay, so temporary zone is going to be So you should be at eight res. So this actually fired my HQ one. I meant to fire the archives one, but I'm just gonna go with it for the sake of, of speed. So now we're probably gonna put Biotic out another 3-2 in the sleepers, or we can triple biotic, five advance the global food for 17 credits minus the HP dollar, so 16. Could be the plan. Biotic's pretty good right now because runners can kill San San without too much difficulty. Hmm. Plus two till the end of the turn. So then I have three runs on this, or I make him pay three bucks a pop. It's a tough call, actually. I think I want rest, even at the extra cost. Oh, Utopia shared. <laughs> oh, rip my biotic waivers. Oh, he gets the food too, come on. Well, okay, that could have been a better turn for us. We get blue level. Nothing to install in this assembly lines. That's brutal. Such an obvious agenda, right? But what can we do? Get siphoned, probably, is what's going to happen. Though not all these Geist decks run siphon anymore. So fingers crossed he doesn't have it. If he, There's nothing we could have done it anyway if we did have it. So couldn't afford to buy it a goat. Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely not resing that. Uh oh, he's on six. Five biotic. I'm going to pay four in order to effectively rebuy something later. But I also duck out a siphon range. But if he had, he would have already siphoned me. So we'll run our team here. We can get. Jackson back in server five. We'll get assembly lines. Just for a little bit of money. The suffrage he will just kill. I think it's gotta be Jackson back into server five. Okay, well now we're very open to siphon. Oh, he's gonna nicely let us dump our money. Excellent news. Yeah, that's pretty good. He's gonna run HQ, make a buck each time. I feel like maybe he doesn't have any siphons. If he's playing cards like Cortex Chip, you gotta find, or sorry, Cortez Chip. You gotta find space for that somehow. If we double draw, get an agenda. He's probably gonna take it. So it's money up this turn. Hope to top deck to the next turn. Oh, he does have siphon. Boo. <laughs> and he even gets his contract money at the same time. Nothing to be done about it. So we're still looking for top deck agenda. Do we get it? Nope. Yikes. So we can click through this if he wants to. The magnets, is that gonna be good? What's he got, you think, passport? Don't really know. Sack our Jeeves. I don't think it's going to do much for us to try to protect it. We could shut the Jackson and put him in here. Maybe it better be a pad campaign. I guess we'd be able to gain click off the biotic shipment interaction, which is maybe relevant if he has to have if he happens to have. I'm still not going to res, actually. I'm going to let him pay. Burn through his contract. We have nothing in here anyway. If we top deck agenda, we'll be able to win. There is one Vitruvius left for us. And then there's one sale. Seems to be harder to get through. Well, the points are in R&D. Let's go with that. Going to work out to be able to play two biotics. We might need both of them if we, if we happen to get the sales team or have to milk Jackson draw and then biotic out. Yeah, so we're going to block the siphon. It's a little pricier than I want it to be. This is really an overpriced like quandary for this matchup. But it's so good against Parasites that I think it's worth having two in the deck.
So I double draw first. I think we do. Oh boy. Okay. So what we want is like cheat money, fast advance tools. Some lines okay, actually. Let's set the bait, see if he wants it. We're doing an okay job of blocking contract. We could sell another ice. I'll take credit, I think. I feel like the ice is going to be all worthless, actually. The EOP could be useful still, but it's really expensive. I'm not sure that I can afford to play it. It's a good card, but like I'd be much happier to see any econ right now. So if G6 will have an extra out. He's looking for breakers. <laughs> he hasn't seen that many cards considering. He did play like one hopper and cycled a few cards, but he hasn't gotten like Earth Rise or any deep draw. So we're benefiting from that right now in this lack of AIs. Still nothing. We'll just sack the Jackson. Hope he checks it. We can shuffle back three, three more money or just like more money in Biotic. If he doesn't check it at all, we can double draw and then do the Biotic plays, maybe. Yeah, we'll use them. So Biotic's good. The hedge is now good with the Jackson, I guess. Okay, so he still seems to be lacking in the code gate department. Fingers crossed. There is a shiv here. I wasn't sure when he'd be playing at those breakers. So if we draw, it's not a 3 2. Four creds is enough right now. So I want to give it a second century and block another siphon. Make him play a shiv to get through this. He's pretty worried about us sneaking out a sales team, for example. Or maybe just Desperado is too good to pass up. Doesn't really care what it is. Seems like a waste to trash this when he can't get the one in server five. But I can see trashing it. He has a lot of money right now. Drum roll for the three two. Actually four two is fine also. I think. Nope. Wow. Guess we'll pop the lateral. We already have three operate three clicks of operations to play. So it's fine. The card we install is probably irrelevant. Yeah. I think it's totally irrelevant. So we'll just dump it out of the way. Prebiotics in hand now. No agenda. He might just win an R&D pretty soon if we don't draw it before he does. But this scores the 4-2 or the 3-2, so we're 
Still hoping. Yeah, I haven't seen too many Cortez ships played. I should zoom in actually. Not playing those horizontal decks anymore. They did a big patch recently, and I think it's been slower since. It seems laggier. Wow, still didn't get it. Global food, not that one. <laughs> Oh dear. He's got to have the breaker, right? He's just slow rolling it. Can we score double food? We need two biotics. Wow, these laterals are super sad right now. So this is our best combo shot. So if we do biotic, biotic, lateral. I guess lateral, biotic, biotic is the same thing. Then we'll be at, then G's will trigger. Does that get us there? It does, right? Yeah, no, money is too short because we're going to need the employee strike dollar. Yeah, we got to block that. Since we're short anyway. Lateral now versus lateral next turn is equivalent. So we'll keep our hand full. Oh, we don't even get a credit for, because of the HP thing. Whoops. Maybe he won't check it. There's his code gate breaker. Does he have a leg work? It's pretty good right now. Actually, R&D is very loaded also. But he's a third breaker for that. Usually, Geis does not want to get Kira checked. I'm surprised he doesn't have like the full set of each. Like that's kind of the whole point. Paperclip not present currently. Womp womp. It really shouldn't be turn 17. You can't break up vanilla. <clears throat> I mean, say we fetch our lateral back. We hardly even make the money. How could he not have the breaker? Where Where is it? So this fires, wow. What do we get? 
Assembly line sales team. Sansan Hedge Vitruvius. So we roll the Sansan. To duck our money out of the siphon. But if you access these one in five, win the game. We throw the sales team in, we get a half. This is tough. If we put the sales team, he can't run it. Our turn begins. We have assembly lines, so which puts us at a couple dollars. Yeah, this works, right? He's earning last click. That's what that's what is doing him here. Is that right? So we do it sales team, we put assembly lines. We go into two. Then at our turn we do. No, it doesn't work, does it? We can't go for right operations. Oh, math is hard. Oh, we have the Vitruvius out. We can do shipment advance. Yeah, well, I'm looking at the sales team was closer up front, but that doesn't make any sense. I think you just cannot, under any circumstances, let Architect fire. Like it doesn't, it doesn't put it to zero, and even if it did, we've got shipment. So I think Siphon at this point is not going to help. He should be trying to get into R&D with whatever he has. Yeah, we don't, we, there's nothing to really validly rebuy here. So shipment from Sansan is going to do the job for us. We have a bit of money here too, in fact, so we're good. Well, I feel like we should not have won this game. But maybe his draw was really bad. Maybe he doesn't have enough barrier breakers. Like I would probably play like three spike and a paperclip or anti corroder. I don't know. This deck isn't feeling super strong. It's feeling like okay-ish. So there's a few plans you can do with the double architect or double sentry to try to block the mongoose. I like that. The trash costs are high enough that non wizard have a hard time getting rid of everything. And you do have some like rush, fast advance potential where you can just like score four or three twos before they're quite ready. But this is a bit hit and miss for me. We haven't had enough good ice targets. And the non agenda clause is really a problem because we want to install agendas a lot. We don't have any ash or anything like that. That would get us value from it. And I'm also not crazy about the the suffrage movement like ideally you can get on the table and it lasts but people have so much money these days they can trash it pretty easily the elp plan is cool and i would like to have a second dlp but i'd also like to have enough money to even afford to play the first dlp so it's it's tricky for sure all right thanks for watching